kids are forced to eat cold jelly sandwiches. <laughs> this from the Washington Post. And it's embarrassing for the kids because their parents are not paying their school lunch. The debt goes up. And then when the kid gets in line, they said, I'm sorry, you've got a black uh, point next to your name here. And it looks like your mom and dad haven't paid. So here's a jelly sandwich. This is a national story that's uh, coming up in all sorts of varying uh, versions of it. And it's considered lunch shaming. Mm-hmm. There have been examples where uh, kids' lunches were literally thrown away in front of them because they they oh, yeah. hadn't paid. And so there are different communities and different. Now we've got uh, at least three states uh, who've banned it and uh, say it unfairly stigmatizes the students, that the mm-hmm. parents are the ones. And the parents may have just dropped the ball and have not paid their uh, their uh, their lunch money monthly yeah. uh, pay, or they may you know be uh, scofflaws. They may be uh, uh, not paying at all, but the idea is that it's embarrassing for the student, and should we really you know hold the student accountable for the well, he parents. has to the student and, has to eat the sandwich of shame, which is apparently a cold <laughs> jelly sandwich. Uh, Jacob has gone to the trouble, Tom. You know how millennials are. They're very sensitive of finding sound for this story because we are doing radio. This is. And this is in one particular community called Warwick, Rhode Island. Okay. No thank you. That's a response from the Warwick School Department when a local restaurant owner offered thousands of dollars in donations to help pay off student lunch debts. Everything that I said got shut down. Every idea I had got shut down. Angelica Penta is the owner of Mike and Jell's Pizza in Warwick as well as Jell's Kitchen in West Warwick. Through customer donations, she's raised over $12,000 to try to help the students. There are a lot of customers that believe in what we're doing is right and uh, they have no problem donating. But the Warwick School Department doesn't want the money. In a statement, it explains why quote this is a position that the school department cannot support given the school's mission to treat all children equitably end quote penta and other parents however say that giving the kids that can't afford lunch the same sandwich is a form of lunch shaming mm. going against the stated mission of equitable treatment they're basically other kids are knowing that this kid can't afford lunch by having a sun butter sandwich officials say that currently there are 1653 families with outstanding lunch debts putting warwick schools $77,000 in the red. But Penta says she will continue to raise money and that she's in the business of helping. She collects food donations at both restaurants. And the Pay It Forward Pizza program allows customers to buy a piece of pizza for someone who may need it in the future. She's keeping the donated money in a fundraising account while she tries to change officials' minds. Mm. Okay. They should do what they did in Denver. In Denver, they said, you know what we're going to do? We're not going to have food shaming. We're not going to make you eat some crappy stuff. We're going to give you the regular lunch. And we're not going to come after the parents because that's too hard on the parents. So what we're going to ask on the honor system that the parents pay their bills. We just don't want to shame the kids. So he took the shaming element out and they went from a $40,000 deficit to three times that close to a $120,000 deficit because parents are like, are you paying for lunch? You're a fool. If you're paying for lunch, you're a fool. They don't enforce the stuff. You might as well get the free lunch at the school. So almost every single kid, I don't know what percentage it is now, get free lunch at that school in Denver because they removed the shame sandwich.